hello guys welcome to tech mode and today what we are going to do is is that we'll be building and uh, so basically uh, we will be doing api test cases and this is a, this, this is a part 2 of the postman series that i am going with api api testing with port, api testing with postman and in the previous tutorial i was discussing about how you can create a simple test case as well as test suite and run it in a command line uh, using new man command line tool that is provided by postman yeah. and in this tutorial what I am going to do is that I will be uh, yeah. running those test cases in the Jenkins and we will kind of like monitoring those test cases in, in the Jenkins by creating a particular Jenkins job so let's get started so before that I was uh, before that let's understand how we can set up some environmental variables in our test suits in api testing so uh, in the postman you can uh, use variables using curly braces and there's a concept of share uh, there's a concept of particularly environments where you can create a different environments in which you can for example i have a staging environment as well as a production environment and we have the staging in the staging environment i have a different url and in the production url i have production environment i have a different url so i can switch switch between them environment and run test cases according to them so and there is a concept of dynamic variables for sometimes you require some random variables timestamps in your uh, request so what you can do is that you can use this curly braces guid timestamp and random int uh, that can be useful uh, whenever you are making a particular request so let's understand it by going to the postman so in the previous tutorial i have already mentioned how you can install a postman and this is the postman right now i have opened it and so this is our this is our api and we will be making a get request so let's do a get request and we will getting this body where we have a user id is equal to one id is equal to one title and body so what i have done is that i have created a test suit here and test suite can be created very easily with the help of this side menu right hand side menu where if you want uh, for example if you want to barely verify what are the responses of your user uh, your user id as well as your id you can just go click on this uh, response body response body is equal to the string and uh, this will give you this response uh, so what uh, so what exactly we are doing is that we are just passing our body whatever we are receiving from this from the URL and by dot notation we are get we are verifying it in the test cases so this is how the test uh, test look like in a postman okay and what you can do is that you can save this test case in a collection so I will be creating a test collection right now I will name it a JSON test and I will name it as get and I will leave everything as as it is so this is our collection right now and if you uh, if you don't know what exactly is a collection and all watch my first tutorial where I have mentioned how you can create a different collections and run them and you can run how you can run them using Newman Newman and generate a particular HTML report out of it so right we have we have a collection ready so what exactly we will do is that we will just look around how we can use this environment variable environment uh, feature of the postman so if you guys are wondering how this uh, themes look like uh, means dark you can just go to postman preferences and here we have a theme so just make sure uh, so just use it dark theme if you like i like dark theme so that's why okay so what you can do is that you can just click on this settings and click on manage environment so right now we don't have any kind of environment so what exactly we can do is that uh, we'll create an environment so i will name it as staging staging and what exactly we'll do is that i will mention the url and let's click the url here from here so this is our staging url right now and it's added i can close it so right now what exactly we can do is that we will just use our URL from the uh, from the environment but right now what you have to do is that you have to select the staging environment 
So if you click on send, it will work same as it is. Okay. Uh, maybe I messed something up. Let's see. You can click on it. Okay. So what exactly we want? We want this URL. Only this URL, right? And we will just update it. So right now it will work. So now it will work. work. Okay. So what we exactly we have done is that we have used our and variables in the postman and we have also configured one of the environment in it and if similarly if you want to have a different environment you can just click on add and just add production production and add key value to it similarly what we are doing we will be doing is that it will be again uh, i will be matching the same url for both of them but it's a uh, but generally it doesn't happen so similarly for the production also same thing will be work so this is simplest thing and right now i believe i and this is a request so let's make a duplicate and so uh, now we have a two two request uh, you can under, you can get you can mm, under, understand is that is that there are two test cases and this is a combined test suit we have so what exactly we want is that we want to run it in a Jenkins. So what you can do is guys that. So right now, I'll, I'll just clear it out. Uh, let's move to documentation, documents and Jenkins. So what exactly you guys can do is that go to Jenkins.com. Jenkins.io. And you can just click on download but download Jenkins and download the latest LTS long term support release a WAR file. Okay, so download it in directory. I saw I have in my Jenkins directory right now. So what exactly you do is that you can run it using the Java jar and Jenkins stored war. And if you have Java configured in your system, then it will work. But if you have don't uh, if you don't have a Java in your path variable, you can just Google it route how to add google it how to add java in path and basically the first question related to stack overflow will give you the answer regarding this okay so what you can do is that you can set class path and whatever it is and you can go to, so this is the answer this is the correct answer i believe uh, you can go to advanced tab and what print available and mention your java path bin directory okay so let's let's run it okay so it will be running so by default uh, Jenkins run over local host 8080 so it will first it will sh ask me to give, give authorization so what exactly I will do is that I will go to the new tab and uh, what I will do is that let's wait it's taking time I don't know why okay let's cd to that directory okay permission denied that's why we have to do sudo let's get a sudo so in the mac exactly we have to get some oh, we are just okay getting it root information uh, root so you can go to cd okay not CD actually, you have to cat this directory. So it will give you some random string. You just copy it and paste it here and continue. So now your setup is done. So you can but typically exit and CD again to documents and CD to Newman. So this is my directory basically. Uh, install the suggested plugin plugins and select the plugin to install so what you can do is that I will go with the suggested plugins it doesn't matter to me and so it will take a time and it, it, it will install the Jenkins in your local server so it will take time and I will pause this video so uh, after after installing so we have now create your first admin user so I will name it as promote password I will just make it small password doesn't matter so 
so continue as admin you can click on save and fish okay so continue as admin it doesn't matter to us so never save start using jenkins okay so now we have a jenkins ready yeah so what you can do is that first of all first thing first is that what you what we have to do is right now is that we will create a new job and this will be a freestyle so i will name it a test just test api and i will make it freestyle project and click on okay okay so what you can do is that you can add description also but uh, what I, I will do is that build trigger and pick environment build post build so in the build trigger what i am going to start i will uh, source for in the source management system we have a none option selected so build step what we'll doing here we will just use execute a shell script so what now what we have to do is that what it's very simple so let's do one thing uh, so this is our collection as you can see with the share you need to sign in so we have to get the uh, postman link for it so what you can do is that you can go to sign in sign up if you don't have so I will be using one of my default account. So let's so it will connect connect it. Okay. So go to this uh what what now what you do you do is that you do click on share, go to collection link and get a link and click to keyboard. So what you can check here also is that if you have newman installed you can just type this command and it will run your test cases okay so let's see if this command is working in our shell then we will move this command to jenkins and then and we'll schedule this command to every 15 minutes that you have to run it okay so, uh, so it's taking time so let's see uh, how it's I'm gonna run so here you can see it started running the test cases and we have a failure also so it's okay to have a failure uh, so response time was not less than uh, let me close this one we have a two separate postman running right now so so this is our test case it's run very good and we have a we have our test cases fully running so what exactly we can do is that we'll just copy this command and We'll just move this to here and click on apply and after what we want is that we want to make it build trigger go to build trigger and build periodically and in this question mark you can get that how you can run it run it so we want it to run by every 15 minutes just we'll just copy this thing and here and apply and save okay so now what you have to do is that click on build now and it will start building a, and just go to console and we have a failure that execution so command not found so why why we have this command is that because uh, right now jenkins was not able to understand the command newman from the console so because so what you guys can do is that just close it out so npm install minus t new man and what uh, what it will do is that it will install the new man globally and so right now i had a new man installed not globally actually so when it's done globally so jenkins will able to understand that thing that okay so new man was installed in the system and i will run it so this is the simplest uh, way and uh, i will install it and run it again so it will work fine so this is how you run your test cases in jenkins and make it uh, available for monitoring after 15 minutes and all and here it's taking time so and so what you can do is that you can create a different environments and what have we have learned is regarding environments variables and maximum things and 
uh, another thing is that uh, just create it just create some uh, big URLs and so let's wait So now again let's move it and click on build now and started building. So um, it's got fixed. So what you have to do is that you have to install, uh, you have to give the full path of node as well as full path of newman and after that you can just type run command at the ul and this is the result after that you get and we have successfully passed the year passed those two test cases hope this like the hope you like this video and do share do share like and comment at whatever whatever that doubt you have just mentioned me in the comments and i will be definitely will definitely will reply back to you thank you and have a nice day